energy and enthusiasm of the candidates contesting the elections reached an all-time high as curtains came down on campaigning at 5 p.m. on Thursday. Even as the echoes of slogans and paint of the posters faded, politicians prepared themselves for the tension-filled wait to gauge the effect of their efforts. The 19th Assembly elections have gained phenomenal importance as a large number of political parties have shown interest in the 40 Assembly seats. There are altogether 19 parties competing for the seats. The campaigning by all political parties as well as independent candidates was intense this time in Goa. Methods adopted were Jan Sampark Yatras, corner meetings, rallies, public meetings and door-to-door -door campaigns to woo the voters. While major political parties came out with creative ideas to build up their campaign, independent candidates also left no stone unturned to make their campaign as effective and efficient as possible. Issues highlighted by political parties during the campaign included family raj, corruption, lack of development, illegal mining, environment and employment. Seizing the opportunity to underline the need for change, many NGOs geared up for creating awareness among voters. Some of the prominent NGOs published vital information about the candidates to enable the voters to make their choice wisely, while others highlighted the right to reject corrupt candidates. Election campaigning in Goa thus culminated with a national elite of major political parties vying for the favour of Goans while casting their vote. The politicians will have to wait until the counting day on the 6th of March to see the people's verdict.